One more. Nice. One more for good luck. Nice. My current project is a contemporary documentary series shot in the southern Sydney fringe suburb of Kurnell, known to most people as the landing place of Captain Cook back in 1770. To me, Kurnell offers a really interesting insight into the changing landscape of our nation. That being a decline in industry and the modernisation of a nostalgic beachside culture that I think echoes the stereotypical yet fading Australian dream. My goals for the work were originally just to explore the place as it is. However, I found the more I explored, the more darker undertones I seemed to find. Darker undertones that consisted of racism and homophobia, a celebration and acceptance of colonialism and a patriotism towards white Australia. The project eventually when it's finished, which will be soon, will culminate in a photo book, as I believe this scope of photography best exists in a format that capitalises on the poetic language and conversation that careful sequencing, structuring and formatting creates. Projects of this nature start entirely intuitively and they're usually based on a feeling I get when I'm in a place or an area. This particular project began when I moved to Kurnell around three years ago, when I just started walking around taking photos of just about anything. I still spend a lot of time walking around looking for things to take photos of, but also scouring Google Maps as well, just to find any areas that I may have missed. History plays a huge part in what makes Kurnell the place it is, and I've spent a lot of time researching online, just so I'm aware and informed on the place it is that I'm engaging with. I also look at my fair share of photo books and am pretty heavily influenced by the documentary work coming out of the US. Overcoming problems is something that everyone faces, especially if you're an artist. And for me, the way to get through this is to just shoot, even if I really don't want to. Initially, you never really know what a project's going to be, and even if you do, along the line, it usually transforms into something else. Shooting a lot of stuff you are confused about or don't necessarily like is very annoying, but I think it's important in how the project eventually materialises. It sounds super lame and cliche to say as well, but it only takes one photo or one moment to get you inspired again to take photos and begin or finish a project. Experimentation plays a huge role in anyone's practice. Put simply, it allows you to figure out what works and what doesn't. For this particular project, initial ideas were met with a few different approaches, both aesthetically and technically, while I figured out what it is the work would be about. These images, while I did like them, didn't quite achieve what it is that I wanted them to. And I think this is a really important feeling to acknowledge and not to force any images into a place they don't fit. While they may not work with the current work, they may inform a whole new project later on down the line. For example, this feeling or aura that I've been trying to capture around Kurnell was also explored in a moving image work from last year. Whilst completely different from the work that I'm making now, it has definitely impacted in my decision making for the current project. My process is completely analog based and while this is a huge expensive pain in the ass at times, to me there's nothing more fulfilling than getting a roll of film back from the lab and locking yourself into hours of scanning alone in a dark room. It also allows you to use really trendy hashtags on Instagram to bump up those followers. This entire process is undertaken in a little office space I'm currently renting, which has everything I need to work. For this current project, I'll shoot, scan, edit, and usually compile images as six x four or A4 prints. From there, I'll lay them out on the floor or pin them up on the wall and either stare at them for hours on end or ignore them completely, depending on how I'm feeling about the project at the time. The sequencing of the images in the work, to me, is where the power really lies. And to tackle this what seems like behemoth task, I'll take the layouts that I like from the wall or from the floor 
turn them into a PDF to be printed at Officeworks. Shout out to Officeworks. This allows me to see how the work flows as a material object.